Right, so what this is, is in the main part of the scene, we have got here the camera scene. This is not actually just the camera. This is a whole scene. So you'll need to make three new scenes in the left hand side. You'll need the camera scene. You'll need a scene for the camera and a scene for the camera shadow. Now, what the camera scene includes is the camera and the camera shadow. And to make that all work, you start with the camera here. You add your camera source into the sources. So whatever your camera source is, you add in there. Get it the right size with your green screen. Make sure it's all blacked out and cut out. And then for the second scene, what you do is you go into the camera shadow scene and you right click here, you click add and you add a scene. But this time you add the scene called camera. Now what this does is it duplicates the original scene, but you can then add filters, which I've already done on here. And the filters on this one are a color correction. You can press the plus button down here to add the filters. So you go to add, click on color correction. I've got that one on here already. What you do is you turn the gamma all the way down, contrast all the way up, saturation all the way down and you put your opacity at about 50% and you should have a nice even shadow. Now the second filter I add to this is the blur filter. Now this one isn't always on your OBS. It would depend if you've got stream effects downloaded. So when you do this one, you click add, you add blur, and then you get this up here. And so what you need to do in here is add a Gaussian area blur and change the size to make it however you want it to blur because it could be like this where it's really harsh where you can turn it up and make it really blurred behind you. I think around here is nice. It's a nice blurred off edge 35. And then what you do is you go to your camera scene, you add in the original camera, then you add in the shadow behind it. But what you do is you increase the size of the shadow out to the top right. Once you've dragged that out to the top right, that will give the shadow an effect behind you when you go back to your main scene. So it looks like it's actually a shadow of you here. See, so you can see my hand shadow, see the shadow for the rest of the camera and that's all there. So that is a quick and easy way to show you how to add a drop shadow to a green screen camera. Now I stream every day apart from Mondays and Wednesdays on Twitch starting at 8am at twitch.tv forward slash orange clock so make sure you drop in and come and see us we play a lot of racing games and we play loads of single player games as well at the weekends so hopefully we'll see you there and don't forget if this video helps click the like button click the subscribe button and click on the notifications because we'll be doing some other obs tutorials for little quick tips very soon